In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to allocate overpayment on zero. Navigating the financial aspects of your business can sometimes feel like walking through a labyrinth, but today, I'm here to guide you through the process of allocating an overpayment within Zero, making sure your accounts remain balanced and accurate. This simple yet important task ensures your financial records accurately reflect the transactions that occur, especially when a payment exceeds the invoice amount. First things first, let's head over to the Zero website. Once there, you'll spot the login button located at the top right corner of the page. Clicking on it is your first step into the Zero universe. As expected, you will be prompted to enter your credentials, namely your email and password. Fill these in carefully and then proceed by clicking the login button. Now, within the seamless interface of Xero, navigate to the business tab. You'll find it near the top of the screen and with a click, a drop down menu will appear. From there, direct your attention to the bills to pay option and select it. This is where things start to get specific to the task at hand. In this section, you'll see a list of invoices from various recipients. Navigate through this list until you locate the invoice you've overpaid or intend to make an overpayment on. Upon finding the correct invoice, click on it to open the detailed view. Here's where the key part begins. You would now enter the amount that was paid into the amount paid field. This amount should reflect the total paid, even if it surpasses the invoice total. Following this, it's essential to accurately record the date paid to keep your financial timeline in order. The paid from field is next on your list. It's crucial to select the correct account from which the payment was made to ensure accuracy in your records. Additionally, adding a reference in the reference field can help keep things organized and provide clarity for future bookkeeping. Moving forward, click on add payment. This action confirms the details you've entered, but before you finalize everything, consider adding a description in the description field. This is particularly helpful for noting any specific details about the overpayment situation for future reference. Additionally, selecting a region in the region field can further categorize the transaction, making it easier for regional reporting if your business operates in multiple areas. Once you're satisfied with the information entered, confirming it all with a click on OK is what seals the deal. This action effectively records the overpayment, but there's still a step left to allocate this overpayment properly. Now navigate to the Accounting tab and select Bank Accounts. Here you'll choose to manage the account involved in the overpayment. The key action here is selecting Reconcile Account, which brings us to a critical juncture in our process. In the Reconciliation view, click on Find and Match. This function allows you to match the overpayment transaction to the appropriate invoice. Once you find the invoice, selecting it and then clicking on split lets you differentiate how much of the payment is addressing the invoice and how much stands as an overpayment. At this point, adding the part payment corresponding to the actual invoice amount clarifies the intended allocation of funds. After this, simply clicking on split one more time ensures the overpayment is correctly represented. Successfully completing these steps ensures your overpayment is not just recorded but also allocated correctly within zero. This process maintains the accuracy of your financial records, ensuring that every dollar is accounted for in its rightful place. It prevents potential confusion that might arise from unallocated funds and keeps your financial reporting in pristine order. Allocating overpayments might seem like a minor task, but in the realm of business finance, every detail counts towards a clear financial picture. Accurate bookkeeping lays the foundation for insightful financial analysis, helping guide strategic decisions that drive business growth. By following these straightforward steps, you can rest assured that your overpayments are not just recorded, but allocated correctly, ensuring your accounts in zero reflect the real state of your finances. Remember, staying on top of these details not only simplifies your financial processes, but also empowers your business planning and strategy. And that's it. You now know how to allocate an overpayment in zero effectively. It's always a pleasure guiding you through these processes ensuring your journey with Zero is as smooth as possible. Keep tuning in for more tips and guides to navigate your financial software with ease.